Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Mean Stack Complete Live Project Development from scratch. In the last episode, we started integrating the backend services into the UI code. Today, we are going to extend that very particular integration by implementing the view or also called as read in CRUD operations. CRUD operations stands for create, read, update and delete. Today we are going to learn how to uh, write view that is how to read the data for a particular customer or a loan or a payment etc. Let's get started. This is part 14 of the mean stack complete live project development. We are building an application called loan manager which is a loan management system. Please do consider supporting this project by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials. If you want to access the code, please write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Also, please, I'll request you to kindly subscribe to my channel. Please like the videos. Please comment, share these tutorials with your friends and colleagues. Thank you in advance. All right, so, so story so far, you can see we started from scratch all the development from single repo. We developed the backend APIs for customer. We developed all the UI screens. In the last episode, we started integration with the backend APIs. Today, we are going to start with the CRUD operations, starting with view. So what are we going to accomplish in this particular episode? We are going to build the entire customer view uh, journey. That is, once you click on view, you should be able to retrieve the customer's data and view details. That's what we are going to implement it today. We will also need some kind of refactoring of the code that we have done, which is usually what you would also do if you are working on any real time application. We will also need to update the UI objects and we will do so as and when required. Let's get started. We have a lot of work. So for our friends who are joining us new in this particular episode, I would like to take this opportunity to quickly show you and demonstrate you the application we have done so far and then we will go into the development so i'm starting my backend apis which is in the loans api repo so i started my backend apis i'm going to now start the application in the ui and ng serve quickly i will touch base and show you the demo and what we are trying to accomplish and we'll get it into the coding while it is starting, I'll request you to kindly hit that like button if you're enjoying the series, if you're enjoying this video. Also keep those comments, questions, queries coming in the comment section. I'll try and help you as much as I can. All right, just a couple of more seconds. So that's it. Our application is compiled. It's done. So let's refresh. We should see our application. So this is what we have done. All this data is coming from the our MongoDB dynamically for the customers, right? So when you are in the customer's route, we are loading this grid. The data is coming dynamic. If you want to see that, please refer to the previous episode. Today, the task is we will click on this link, go to view customer route and see the customer's details. That's what we are trying to accomplish today. So let's get started. Uh, first things, we'll need some refactoring of this code in the list customers. That's where we listed the customers in the previous episode. So go to listcustomers.html and what we need is that we'll have to click on that link, right? So you see this link, which is href hash for now. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a router link and convert it into a clickable link through which we can navigate. Let's do that now. Router link is equal to, now here I'm going to bind it with two things. So I'm going to say view and I'm going to pass the ID. So I'm going to say customer dot underscore ID because that is the unique ID of this particular data set, right? So each of this MongoDB document has a un underscore ID, which is always unique. And that's what we are trying to give a unique link so that you click on it and we can navigate to that particular user. All right, so that being said, let's save it and see the output. So here, if you see in the URL now below here, just notice here, 
you would see each of that is coming with view slash followed by the underscore ID value right so that means it's a unique so let's click on it so when we click on it we see it is capturing the ID and it is going to the view customer works component that means now it is correctly navigating along with the ID so now let's go to view customer and capture this data and retrieve the data from the MongoDB so now let's work in the view customer go to HTML and what I'm going to do for simplicity sake I'm just going to use TRTD okay you can I have got some feedback that I already create the UI so I'm trying to do it here so that you get the first hand okay I'm not trying to create the UI so I'm trying to just save the time that's all I uh, try and do but if you want me to do it from scratch I'll do it from scratch here so let's put customer first name last name and again these are design specifics right so you can have any kind of design you want okay now what we will do is we will do the data mapping here but before that let's go to component now we are in the view co view customer dot component dot ts file now what we are going to do here is we need to capture the ID that was sent in the URL so for that first we'll need private and we will say activated route that's what we will need to work with okay so activated route and I'm going to say this dot activated route dot now that's param right so params dot subscribe and remember whenever we do a subscribe we have to definitely unsubscribe it right otherwise you will have memory leakages in application I'm not doing it right now in the interest of time but usually you have to always unsubscribe any subscription that you do so subscribe and then we'll have data and then capture it here and beautiful so now we are going to say let's define it and say here customer ID it is string and initially it is going to be empty that's what we are saying and we are going to say here this dot customer ID is equal to data dot in the params we will be getting ID now where is this defined this is defined in our route if you go to customer routing file you'll see colon ID that's what you mentioned so that's what we are going to capture it in our component colon ID so here we are saying whenever there is data capture that data dot ID so now you are capturing the ID of the customer so once you do that then we'll make a service call and our service file is called customer service that's what we created in the previous episode so if you want you can refer there is a function we wrote which is view customer and it is going to take ID as a parameter right and it's going to call the um, endpoint which is to get the customer so let's use this so that's one of the benefit of using the common services that you save time you don't have to write again and again so I'm going to say customer service and import that service file here and then we are going to use the service file and make a call and say this dot customer service dot dot view customer right and we have to pass the customer ID and we will say dot subscribe again get that data and put it here right now what you're doing here you are getting a customer details so now I'm going to say customer details right we can have an object I'm going to say any for now but ideally we will map it to customers that's what we are going to do in the coming episodes where we will refactor the code okay so what we are doing here is we are making a call to view customer API and asking it to get the data so let's console log it and see what data is coming and whether it has the data captured or not alrighty so let's go view console 
and we get an object which has results and it has only one object so it is serving our purpose so if you see here let me show you one more time let's go to customers and click on any other um, click on any other uh, link that you want or you wish so let me clear this let me click on this person by the name Sri Sairam and click on it and enter and you see the console and you would see that it's logging this status and along with results right so it is giving us the results of that particular customer so now I'm going to read this data and map it into my UI bind it basically data binding so let's do that now so this dot customer details dot results and I'm going to say dot results will be captured here and let's see it here and close this so what is it saying it's saying it's not finding let's see okay so it has got the details here okay uh, it says data results does, does not exist so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract it from here and say and load it and see the output so we got the output which is the same object right so we got the object that is getting correctly mapped to customer details so now what we are going to do is do the data binding so let's go here right if it was a array of results probably we would loop but since this is only one object we'll just go to our template and map it using interpolation here we will write this and here we will say customer details dot underscore ID so now it should print the ID here dynamically which is this one right so I'm going to format it this little bit by putting TR TD so that it's formatted each will be in a separate row that's what I'm trying to do and again I'm using a simple table I am I don't want to fancy it because I don't want to do uh, the the screens and then confuse you or you would say that you know you're not really sure about what is happening but I want you to definitely see how it is done and from scratch right so that's why I'm just pasting a simple table without any styling this is purely for your learning alrighty so go to customers click on any and now it says this is the customer ID now let's map the first name similarly take copy this paste it here and this object will be dot first name right so that's Lisa and similarly paste it here and this would be last name okay so we'll check why there is okay maybe there is no last name but you get an idea that we just have to map the data so this will be phone I think it's phone number this should be email address let's see okay so we got the phone number we got the email address right so this is how you are retrieving the data right so I am not styling again because a lot of you have written to me saying that you are not sure about how the styling is done and um, it is but that's why I'm keeping it simple I'm showing you how the data is mapped right but definitely we can definitely uh, do some styling and we can throw in a card class equal to card and close it here right so we styled it with the basic style uh, and I'm going to use padding 4 so that there is some padding here you see and then um, the the for each of the things we can style again and say um, padding 2 so there is some gap you see right uh, so similarly for each of it just quick styling nothing fancy here guys um, or I can give it to the row right so see now it's much better and I'm going to say margin 2 so it would be little away so we know that it's little bit 
right much readable better readable right so now you see and we don't need this view customers instead we are going to add a heading and say here we are going to say customer details right so customer details or you can make it something like a sh3 just to have it consistently we'll have some design so this also needs to be uh, having a class and we will just say margin 4 for this as well so it's aligned here now you see so that's it so now let's go test it so now you click on Syram and you see all the Syram um, details you see Aniket you see all the details go back Praveen so you see Praveen's details right so that is um, how we can easily um, so this is a call which is doing to the get call right so it's a view call so let's see what is happening once in the service when you call that so that was the view customer so if you see the view customer what we had done earlier was we created the method it's taking the from the dynamic environment it's taking the customer base URL environment and then taking the get customer ID appending the ID that we pass and then just call it through HTTP client and return the value right so it's simple we are making a call to our backend API requesting data and we are getting that data putting it to the view customer and displaying it in the view customer template right simple so far I think I hope um, we can add some more uh, validations like for example if you say like say if uh, this dot customer ID Right. If there is customer ID, then only you do these steps. Right. That means calling a API. Else, don't call the API at all if it's empty. Right. Let's see that. So now I click on this. I see the details. But if I delete this entirely, right, it says page not found because again it's a correct one because we are deleting the ID. We are saying that view has to have that particular um, value that needs to be shown. Right. So that is how you can handle some of the error handling and exception handling and click on it you see the data and you click on it see the data right so this is about view right in the next episode i'm going to show you create which is one more crud operation of crud today we did view in the next episode i will show you how to create a new customer that is inserting data or posting data to the backend api Join me in the next episode. I hope you're liking the series. I hope you're enjoying the tutorial. If you are doing, please do hit that like button. Please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.